NASA and many scientists around the world are listening into space with gigantic radio telescopes. Listening allows unique impressions of corners of space and of events that are not visible but audible. During these listening investigations, a phenomenon known as the fast radio burst first appeared about 20 years ago. At first, researchers assumed a natural source of these phenomena, but then the signals accumulated and this circumstance posed an unsolvable riddle to the world of science. It would be possible that the last heard extremely fast and frequent flashes come from a single object or even from an alien civilization in space. Find out what science knows about the phenomenon so far and the likelihood that this is first contact with an alien civilization in this video. Stay tuned and be surprised by NASA's latest discoveries. Before we start with the actual topic, we would like to ask you for your contribution to the channel. Your comments and opinions are important to us. Tell us what you think about the topic and of course, if you like the video. From now on, our subscribers' comments will get a heart and we'll even pin your important contribution at the top so that everyone reads it first. Just make sure you've already subscribed, liked the video, and mention both at the top of your comment. Here we go with the phenomenon of fast radio bursts, or FRBs for short. An alarming discovery. The first fast radio burst was discovered in 2001 as part of a study of pulsars. Pulsars are neutron stars, the remnants of exploded suns, rotating extremely fast and emitting high levels of radiation. Pulsars emit radio signals, which researchers also call millisecond pulsars. The name says it already, the radio signals are extremely short with less than one millisecond duration and with it difficult to find out. Researchers in Australia meticulously combed through data from the Parkes Radio Telescope and found not only signals clearly emanating from pulsars, but a whole new category of radio frequency that, while similar in some ways to pulsar signals, is quite different. Pulsars emit periodically repeating signals due to their extremely fast rotation, while the new discovery emits only a single pulse at a time. The duration of this pulse is slightly longer than the signal of a pulsar with frequencies just over one millisecond. The phenomenon was first noticed in 2001, and in 2006, the existence of these completely new and mysterious signals was proven with certainty. The new discovery was named fast radio burst. However, the phenomenon is also simply called blitzar in expert circles. Fascinatingly, these fast radio bursts have a pulse profile which in the graphical representation shows the symmetrical shape of an isosceles triangle. In theory, researchers were initially only able to determine an object or event as the source, which emits extremely strong radiation that can produce signals like these. Invariably, these are neutron stars formed after the supernova explosion of a star. Depending on their radiation intensity, these neutron stars are classified as pulsars or magnetars. Although researchers immediately set out to find possible sources, FRBs or flashers could not be traced back to their actual origin via optical telescopes until today. This means that the events of space, which emit light and are thus visible with optical telescopes, cannot yet be matched with the auditory impressions of the lightning stars. But not only were the lightning stars, or FRBs, not traceable to unambiguous sources, researchers soon had to deal with another fact that caused both headaches and incredible excitement. FRBs are increasing dramatically. By 2017, researchers around the world were able to identify 25 FRBs in the cosmos. Today, there are already about 800. Again and again, the observations and frequencies repeated themselves. FRBs have long been single signals, extremely short and high. 
They race with incredible speed from unknown places through space and directly towards the Earth. In the process, they show typical scattering, meaning that individual frequencies reach Earth faster than others. You could also say that the signal reaches our telescopes, piecemeal or stretched. It is precisely this signal stretching that allows the researchers to draw further conclusions about the direction of movement of the lightning stars. And this should actually also allow them to determine the source. But no matter how hard the researchers tried to trace the lightning stars back to their origins, they simply could not. The signals remained like ghostly calls in the cosmos. The scattering or dispersion of the extremely fast radio flashes is caused by resistances on their way through space. Auditory signals, like light, also propagate in waves in space, traveling extreme distances through plasma in space. Experiments have shown that the signals are slowed down by free electrons in the plasma. Low frequencies with high wavelengths are affected more than high frequencies. Lightning stars in our neighborhood. Undefinable signals from strong radiation sources can pose a not inconsiderable danger to the Earth. Scientists assume that lightning of certain types of radiation can extend over long distances in the cosmos and depending on the type of radiation, can also cause damage. Gamma ray bursts, or GRBs, that originate near our solar system and are aimed towards Earth could trigger a global catastrophe on our planet or lead to mass extinction. So far, however, gamma ray bursts have only been observed at very long distances from Earth or even in other galaxies. The situation was similar with the fast radio flashes. Before 2020, they were only observed outside the Milky Way, and then that changed abruptly. With the discovery of the first lightning stars inside the Milky Way, researchers were able to better infer a possible source for the first time. Some astronomers were certain they had identified magnetars at the primary source of these high-energy bursts. Magnetars are pulsars with extremely strong radiation emissions. This explanation made sense at first, but then more puzzles and questions arose around the fast radio signals. Their frequency suddenly increased to such an extent that some researchers concluded that the source of the FRBs, or lightning stars, was most likely not of natural origin. But what would this mean in practice? Is it really possible that lightning stars are indications of broadcast frequencies from extraterrestrial civilizations? A Chinese telescope has recently measured numerous FRBs, all coming from a similar direction. Of course, this would initially suggest one and the same source, a gigantic magnetar. But the FRBs show a peculiarity, which practically excludes a natural source and all so far known neutron stars, pulsars, or magnetars as a source. The signals do not repeat in certain periods, but are unique and also change their frequency. A pulsar or magnetar rotates in a certain speed. The signals could be produced thereby, conditioned by the extremely high speed and the ultra-high radiation. But both quantities, the speed as well as the emission of the radiation are subject to cyclic repetition rates. It is unlikely that a single signal is emitted that flares up once briefly and then goes silent forever. It's even more unlikely that such a cyclic and predictable source would emit multiple signals, even unique and unrepeatable. In 2007, Dr. Duncan Lorimer was one of the few researchers to determine a pulsar in the Magellanic Cloud as the source of a received FRB. However, this signal appeared once and then never again. To date, only 19 of the more than 800 FRBs identified could be clearly attributed to natural sources. Some scientists, therefore, dared to put forward a bold thesis. The brightest of all bursts known to date showed a scatter broadening with power law dependencies indicating radio emissions from extraterrestrial sources. Other researchers immediately dismissed such ideas 
and went on to claim that FRBs were due to rare cosmic events such as the explosion of white stars or the merger of two neutron stars. What does FRB 121-102 reveal? In 2022, the sensational news broke. The FAST telescope in China had recorded FRBs emanating from a single source over 47 days. The phenomenon was named FRB 121-102 and has raised some questions since its discovery. FRB 121-102 did not transmit a single signal that was heard briefly and then died away. No, this FRB radioed about 1,000 individual signals in just under two months of observation. In the most active hour, this burst flared up more than 120 times. The signal was always heard for only a fraction of a second. Although the signal sounded again and again, the repetitions lacked periodic correlations that would suggest a natural phenomenon. Thus, during the observation period, the signal was active once for 90 days and then followed by a period of 67 days of absolute radio silence. The chaotic and frequent sounding of these flashes allowed again conclusions of an extraterrestrial radio source. A dwarf galaxy in the constellation of Fermin, about 3 billion light years away, could be identified with certainty as the point of origin. FRBs with different origin? So far, researchers cannot say with certainty whether all these signals are really still one and the same phenomenon. Since scientists around the world have been intensively studying the phenomenon of fast radio flashes, several categories have been found. First, there are the flashes that sound once and then go silent. The second type are those like FRB 121-102 that emit extremely many but chaotic series of signals. In addition, researchers have been able to divide the lightning stars into high-energy waves and low-energy signals. The weaker lightning stars are more unpredictable, show no regularity, and are more likely to indicate an extraterrestrial source. Another exciting discovery. In 2022, yet another FRB appeared with extremely fast and chaotic repetitions. FRB 19520 is also from the dwarf galaxy 3 billion light years away and was discovered with the FAST telescope and later confirmed by the Very Large Array Telescope in Mexico. FRB 19520 recorded 75 bursts in six months and is clearly a faint radio signal whose individual frequencies originate from the same source. Since the first detections of the strange signals in 2001, the fast radio burst phenomenon has been increasing significantly. The only thing that is certain so far is that FRBs or lightning stars are fascinating cosmic phenomena that we should urgently learn more about. What do you think these signals mean and where do they come from? Can you imagine that they are radio emissions from extraterrestrial civilizations? Or do you think natural events are more likely sources? Let us know and share your own personal take on fast radio bursts with us in the comments. Remember to mention your subscription if you have one and to like the video. We thank you for watching and for your participation. Until next time on Simply Space.